You good there? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look how short you are. That looks pretty good, right? I guess. All right. Okay. You guys see that right there? <laughs> Whose mans is that, guys? Whose mans is that? That's your mans. What no, that's you your mans. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, guys? Doug Sensen Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. And today, I'm with Marilyn. And uh, I just want to say really quickly before we get into this video, one, she's still nervous. Two, I'm still a little nervous. My heart's starting to race when I say her name on camera because <laughs> for the last year or so, well, we started dating technically what, like November. Yeah. It was the day before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, the day before Thanksgiving, I asked her to be my girlfriend. I know a lot of you guys have questions about our relationship and just about, I guess, Marilyn more in general. Uh, but before we even get into any of that stuff, I just want to say a huge thank you for all the support you guys showed us on that video that we posted, she yes. actually made it public Instagram as well. She had 11, Thank you. you had 11 followers on Instagram, right? Yeah, I like had like a little like food blog. I don't do like social media at all. I'm literally like an 85 year old woman stuck in like this body. You'll, you'll get there eventually, <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. Um, but like every time I check my phone, it's like terrifying now in a good way. So thank you guys so much for the support. Yeah, we, uh, we so she had a, I didn't even know she had an Instagram this whole time guys. Like that's how low key. It was like for food, it literally for, it was like, like literally food. Like, okay, we spent all of our time together it. and you didn't even tell me you had an Not Instagram account. Not all our account. time together. It was like my downtime at like work because work, like it was my little escape. Okay, I okay, I got, food. It. I got it. Okay, so anyways guys, um, so a lot of you guys have questions like, oh, Sensi, have you guys been dating for you? Do like no, technically November, first of all. Second of all, we actually have history with each other. We've known each other for about six years and believe it or not guys, you might think that I'm crazy for saying this. You guys might not believe me. You guys might think that I'm just saying this because she's my girlfriend right now. But this woman right here has been the love of my life, truly, ever since I laid eyes on her. And I, I know you guys are going to roast me. You guys are going to say whatever you want. But ever since I saw this girl back when I was 18 years old, I was just like, oh, mm. wait, hold uh. on. This is this is where I cue the, the, the jizz face from the last video. <laughs> when you were... I was doing the outro of that video, guys, and then she started like rubbing that stuff on my nipples. The I was just like, "The angle was so bad." Yeah, that angle was really bad. But uh, back back in the day, guys, as you all know, I worked at LA Fitness. It was my first ever job, my last ever job, and uh, she used to go to that gym with her mom all the time. And I didn't see you at first. I only saw your mom at first for the first few times. And then after, like, I, I guess she, I, I don't know, like, maybe she just didn't come with her mom at first. She moved school districts. She was in high school. I was going into my freshman year at college, so she was. I was. You were going into your senior year of high school. Yeah, I think it was. I think we met the summer of my junior, your junior year, year of high school. And then I was going into my freshman year of college. Yeah. That's when we met. Yeah. And well, I knew of her because I've seen her around the gym a few times, and I'm like, that girl's so cute. But I used to be so embarrassed. I used to have like this back knee all over my Which, shoulders. Like, how would I even care about your back knee? I don't know. You I saw this. Mention that. This girl has such a like gorgeous face, and she's so pretty. And I like I didn't think I was good enough, and I honestly felt. Yeah. No, I'm serious. I honestly felt that way. So I was always so self-conscious. I used to wear like those cheap little like wife beater tank tops and I used to like do the back machine right in front of her when she was on the treadmill. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's gonna see my back and she's never gonna like me. But <clears throat> I would see her, I used to, I would, I would check her into the gym. I would check her mom into the gym. I'd, I'd be friendly with the mom because I was embarrassed to talk to her. So I'd try to like talk to her mom to talk to her in a way. And eventually after a year of seeing her every single day in the gym, I finally mustered up the courage inside of me to walk up to her, she was in this aerobics room. She always did her little like workouts in there. She was like doing those little ass blaster booty pop and stuff, like mm -hmm. your kickbacks and everything. Oh, yeah. And I was always admiring her, but I didn't want to be creepy. So one day I found the perfect opportunity where nobody was in this room. She was in there in the corner. My heart was racing almost as much as it is right now because what I'm about to show you guys is something really personal. Oh, and I'm God. so shocked that you still have it. I love you. We what spoke, do you mean? Well, we spoke about this. We spoke about this when we first started talking again um, last year. But um, anyways, I went in there and I'm like, "Excuse me, can you help me stretch?" And what did you say? Yeah. Sure. No, she said. She said, "Yeah, sure." Okay. And, and then I asked her on a date. I asked her a phone number. I asked her on a date. We went on a date. Long story short, guys, her and I never were boyfriend and girlfriend until November. I never dated this girl, and she was like the one girl. My friends were like, "Doug." Obviously, she's not interested. You got to move on and I'm like, okay, okay, fine. I get it. I understand But this was like the one girl who I was just like the second I laid my eyes on her I swear I was like this is the one for me This is the one that I want to be with and um, we hey, just you were really intense about that We were we were going our own separate ways. She was like changing her schools She went somewhere else um, for college. I went somewhere else for college Obviously, it just didn't work out long story short, but before it didn't work out when I when I was probably talking to her for like a couple of like maybe a month or two I don't know I was talking to her for we a little bit. We were talking to each other for like a year and a half. But this is like in the beginning though. 
Yeah, this was like very I'm beginning. Pretty sure, like after we hung out a couple of times. Yeah, because like, I've never been on a better first date in my life. We went to this it like was outlets. Definitely, this was after our first date. Was it after our first date? I think so. I was that intense. Yes. Wow. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, okay, so I've never done this, guys. Because, yeah, once we read it, I was talking about something, and I specifically remember being in front of Tanger Outlets across from that Sugar Pop store where they do the ice skating thing. Yeah. And I was telling you about a movie in this in this, in this card, letter. and I yeah. Okay, so um yeah, guys, I've never done this. This was six years ago. I wrote Marilyn a letter. Look at how perfect that handwriting is, guys. My handwriting sucks. He was so cute. He went to like a, a cardstock like place, which like no one does, and he got this little like special like pastel on. She has it framed and, like, in her room. I didn't even know. This little like paper. Oh, it was so cute. So I, what I want to do I right was now, such an ass. just because I want to show you guys like how I guess a lot of you have questions about a relationship. I just want to show you guys how our relationship is. We never technically dated until this November. Uh, but we've always had like an on and off fling, I guess I should say. Yeah, it was complicated. But then she went away to college. I didn't talk to her at all. I had all. a lot of growing up to do. She started dating someone else. I started dating somebody else. We completely cut ties. We did yeah. not speak no. for years. years. Like I'm talking years. Years. But we'll get into how we started rekindling another time. But I just wanted to really focus on this right here. This is my 18 year old self. <laughs> face sensor man, the 18 year old self man. OG face sensor. Yeah, I've you never. You were just on the rise. I've never written a love letter for anyone in my life. I, I never felt more confident and strong about this when I was 18. And even now at 24, almost 25, I still feel probably stronger than I felt about her even before I even like spoke to her. Like the conversations we've always had always just made me feel so interested. Yeah. She always leaves me wanting more. And I, I highly <laughs> recommend you guys find that in a relationship. Not necessarily like taking it literally. Yeah. I, like without her even trying, I always just want to know more about her. I always just want to be around her. I just want to always do things I with her. I want to be around you too. I know. I know, and I don't mean that. Yeah, <laughs> okay, then. No, 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 I know. Like, I know how you feel. I know this sounds like kind of weird. I know how you feel because we talk about this all the time. I'm like literally attached to this girl. But, anyways, I don't feel this way about people. I'm not this lovey dovey, but. Okay. Read it. Marilyn. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. I'm like, I, I forgot read what it? I. No, no, no. I forgot. Should we show it to them first and then read it? So this was the letter right here. If you guys want to see it. I didn't like put my full name on the bottom. Um, the smudges here are literally me crying from reading it. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, all right, you read it, because this is like as if I was gonna send it to you, so I don't wanna read it, so you go. Okay. I never thought I would be thinking the things I do and doing the things I am, but I just can't deny it. Not once in my life have I met someone as special as you are to me, and that's something I will never let go. Since the first time I've seen you, to the first conversation, to the first date, I knew you were somebody different. There have been others, none, but none like the way you make me feel. I simply cannot get you off my mind, even if I tried to. Whether we talk about blueberries and Schindler, or tampons and periods, everything about you is so interesting to me, and I cannot explain why. Through you, I realize certain things about myself that I will be forever grateful for. <laughs> no matter what happened or what will happen, without a doubt, I am sure that you are and will always be my first love. Always Douglas Taylor Martin. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> that was little 18 year old you. And what were your thoughts when you read it? Um. I love you <laughs> and also I was kind of like terrified though because we were like so young and I was at like such a like weird place in like my life where it was like I moved schools and I was under a lot of stress for like AC ACTs, SATs, all that college prep stuff. Um, I also was struggling like with like depression to be honest and like a lot of issues that like I know I had to work through on myself and I didn't want to I didn't want to like jeopardize or like I was like afraid of basically getting hurt, I guess. And I just pushed you away, which was like really stupid, but it was like a no-brainer to me. I, I didn't <laughs> want to come off as a uh, weirdo, guys, because I want to make this clear. Like, don't try to like overly aggressively pursue a girl. Yeah, like I never like outwardly like said like no to you. Though. You would like, never tell me no. It that was, was the just thing. like we obviously had like a really like deep connection, and I thought that we could be friends, and I thought that like. <laughs> I know. Girl, I can't, I, I can't be friends with you, girl. I if you're around me, I'm not going to be your friend. <laughs> it's just that simple. Um, but basically, like, yeah, it was just, I was a hot mess. And I needed to, like, work through my own issues. And I was afraid of getting hurt. 
Um, and like you were just, I don't know, you were too good to be true. You were so freaking like sweet and so cute and like you were such a hard worker and so determined about like your life goals and I don't know, like I was, I was scared. Yeah. Yeah. She would, she would tell me that too and I'd be like, it's okay. I'm going to take care of you. It's okay. And she's like, you can't eh. take care of me. You got to learn how to take care of yourself. Otherwise you can't have a healthy relationship. Exactly. And you know, it sucks, but it was necessary. And it's funny how here we are. <laughs> I think if we dated back then, we probably wouldn't be together now. I think so too. Just based on like everything that was based happening on, back then, yeah. which is like a really deep thing that I don't even know if we would have time to talk about. Like this might be a video longer than Cod Burner. Yeah, if we were actually like, speaking about it, everything <laughs> from the past. Yeah. But um, this letter right here, she still has it. It's my heart. It's framed. It's my heart. It's sitting in her other room over there. And um, it just further validates like really how much I truly like love this girl. Seriously. So. Do you still feel like this? I feel even stronger Aww. about it. I think we, we have such good conversation. Like we, we, we have such a really good understanding of each other. We have great communication. We have similar life goals. We love the same things. We love working out. We We're love- We're also like very comfortable with each other. Like I didn't realize, like I was talking to you about like my period and like tampons and yeah, we're only stuff. talking for like a few weeks. <laughs> we were only talking to each other for not too long. Yeah, so we both love working out. We both love our animals. We both love traveling. We both love food. Food, yes, we both love food. That's definitely <laughs> for sure. Um, and I don't know, we just make each other laugh all the time, honestly. Like, I could just look at her and just start, like, cracking up and smiling. What is that supposed to mean? Not in, like, a bad way. I mean, like, in a good way. Like, I don't know, like, anything that she says in a way to me just makes me want to laugh and, like, be happy. And, like, I don't want you to be sad. Like, I really don't like when, when we get sad. So, like, I want us to be happy. Because every relationship's going to have their highs, their lows, their ups, their downs, their, like, great moments, their bad moments. But, like, I, I just never want to see this girl be sad. I just always want her to be happy, you know? So... Um, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys because um, I know a lot of you guys have questions about our relationship and especially more about her, um, which you guys will find out over over time. There's a lot, to, a lot to catch you guys up on, I guess, and there's a lot of like experiences that we've been through. And uh, coming out and making the video we made two days ago was really difficult, and uh, it was something that was definitely subconsciously on my mind for a while. But I never wanted to like pressure her into being involved in social media or this like YouTube or or Instagram, any of this stuff, because it's just not right. Like she was, she's really smart. She graduated top of her class in high school. She got scholarships for college. She was working into the corporate world and she had like her own career path that she was going down. And obviously I'm so deep into YouTube, gaming, entertainment, all that stuff where I'm not gonna change what I'm doing. So for me to like be an entertainer and vlog and show my life every day, and I'm spending all of my days with her and she's working in a corporate world, it's putting me in this situation where it's like, well, shit, man, like I want to vlog and show everyone how many cool things and how much fun we're having and like share this with everyone and show you guys how proud I am to be with this beautiful <laughs> woman right here. But I can't do that to her because I don't want her to be in the, the public eye without being comfortable, without being ready, without having a good understanding, without having a, a trust for each other laid out. I, I wanted I to make sure. I think that's the biggest thing, having the a trust, trust for each other. Yeah. Like, because without that, like it doesn't matter whether the other person is comfortable or not. Like, I feel like you just really have to be open with being able to talk about like anything, even if you think it makes you uncomfortable, even if you think it makes your partner uncomfortable, it's better to just talk it through. Yeah, always. I think honesty is always a key. There's gonna be things that you don't wanna ask your partner that you're gonna have you to ask your to. partner. Yeah. I mean, there's so many conversations, <laughs> like the amount of conversations we have about deep, personal, intimate things is crazy. Like she knows more about me than almost anybody. Yeah. You, I, tell you guys, I tell you everything about my day every single day. Literally. In deep detail, for years. Well, not, not for years. years. <laughs> not for years. Like we've we've known each other since we were eighteen and seventeen, but we stopped talking. We both met different people. Yeah. We both went our own ways, and we had zero communication with each other. Yeah. And then we both became one again. I guess. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, we did. I'm cheesy, man. You're I'm so cheesy. cheesy. This is emotional for me, man. I don't want to start crying on don't, camera right now. Don't start crying. But um, I, I just found this so adorable that she kept this and I was like, I, I want to make a follow-up video to the last video. I want to tell you guys more about our relationship. And I thought this was like a really perfect way uh, of showing you guys how much I really love this girl and how much I actually care about her. And I want to make that very clear to people how much I really am in love with her. Like every single time I speak to her, when the first time I spoke with her in my life, the first time I spoke with her after not talking to her for years, it's never changed. It's always been the exact same of just constant interest and constant 
just genuine care for this person right here. And I hope that everyone in this world could find somebody like that, uh, truthfully, because it's an amazing feeling to have. And um, I'm, I'm so happy. And also I'm so relieved that like I'm, I'm showing her to you guys because <laughs> for the longest time I thought this would never be a thing. I yeah. never thought I would show her on the internet. I never thought I would show anything about our relationship on the internet. I never thought she would keep this letter. I never thought we were gonna talk to each other again. Yeah, it's scary. So many like things, I don't know, like so many things I didn't think would happen would happen. And, and here we are now. So. Um, might as well make the best of it. Might as well make the best of it. And I want to know in the comments down below what you guys think or if there's any type of videos you guys want to see us making together. We have so many, like, we have dozens of ideas and things that we want to do. I'm going to be going to LA for the Logan Paul Challenger Games. I'm going to be on his podcast on Friday. Uh, we have the Challenger Games on Saturday. Uh, I'm going to be going back to LA for August 1st. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I can't say it yet because it's not official. But I'll be back in LA on August 1st. And I'll also be back in LA again late August. I'm going to be flying out fans to Champs. I'm going to be working at Champs. So um, leave a like on this video if you guys want me to fly you out to Champs. I'm going to be handpicking people. I'm going to take the money from that Codburner video, pay for people's flights for Champs. And then I'm going to throw in some more of my own money to pay for flights for people at Champs as well. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll maybe I'll bring Marilyn to Champs too. Maybe it could be a lot of fun to just show her more of this gaming world that I'm in and, and how much I really care about the community. And maybe you guys will want to meet her too. So she's very sweet, very bubbly, um, very cute, and uh, just always a good person to be around. And um, hopefully you guys are going to see that as well through videos or even in person when you guys see us. So. Um, yeah, comment down below what you guys think. Comment if you guys want me to fly you to Champs. Leave a like on the video for good luck because I will be flying out people to Champs. I haven't figured out how many yet, but I'm going to do this in the next few days. Probably when I get back from LA the first time, I'll keep you guys more updated. But uh, I'm going to go live stream now, twitch.tv slash censor. Marilyn's going to go back to making her cake. I really encourage her to start posting videos, uh, having her Instagram, like being active on social media. So we're going to make her YouTube channel for her. She loves baking. She loves cooking. So if you guys want to see like cooking videos or her baking me stuff and trying new foods, let me know as well. I mean, there's just billions of things that we could do. And um, like I said, we had really deep talks about YouTube and all this stuff. So we're on the same page with it. Just comment down below what you guys think. And uh, let me know what you guys think of this letter. I'm so happy she kept it. And um, I'm happy I got it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. It's been your boy Doug Sensen Martin. Have a good day. I'm just supposed to say I'm Marilyn. Oh, I'm Marilyn. <laughs> I'm Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. And we're out, guys. Peace.